always best the time to do speed dash comparison between Note 9 compared to Note 8 here. And they are both right here as you can see it. Let me just give you side by side comparison real quick. Volume up and down and Bixby burn. Everything on same spot. Nothing changed so far with the design. And finally on the back. That's the only change here. If you can see on below the camera now. A bit change as the window is smaller now compared to here. But anyway, guys, so let me just boot this up and give you more specs about this device. One, two, three. So they're both booting up right now. We have 6.3 compared to 6.4 inch display in the Note 9. The specs wise, uh, nothing changed, guys. The display resolution, pixel density is similar on both of them. So basically, sorry about the lighting. And obviously Note 9 boot faster compared to Note 8. Still booting right now both of them. Now completely booted up. So guys as you can see the display on both. They are really really close. I max out the resolution here. It's running on performance mode. So basically this display is pushing more pixel than before. Also the resolution of the screen in both of the devices is same. Which is 1440 by 2960. And the pixel density they have both similar here 515 to 520 ppi running right now in these two displays and as you can see overall display guys they are really really great color only difference here with the note 9 is a little slightly bigger display which is 6.4 inch compared to 6.3 inch in the note 8 now we have a qualcomm snapdragon 845 processor compared to 835 last year came out with the note 8 and we have a geno 540 compared to a geno 630 in the note 9 so Basically, the new version will be faster compared to last year and we have 6 gigs of RAM on both the device. We have 64, 128GB model here. Now on the back side of the phone, they both have a dual 12 megapixel camera. They both have an OIS and they both can shoot up to 4K videos. Also, we have 8 megapixel camera on the front. They can shoot up to 1080p videos on both. So guys, let's just find out which one is faster. I know they both are similar device. Uh, only the S Pen improved compared to last year to this year. Overall specs wise, I know it's a new processor in there, probably makes a difference, but let's find out guys, will it be Note 8 similar to Note 9? So starting from phone data application, uh, Note 8, message application, I think it's same time, let me know guys in the comment section below which phone you think is faster, and Play Store. Note 8 setting and this time Note 9 now some social media application Instagram I think same time Snapchat Note 9 Facebook I think one second faster is Note 9. As you can see guys, not that big difference here in terms of speed wise. Twitter. Note 8. And load up faster. Now some games, as you can see I got a 1 gigabyte of game here, a few of them. Starting from Asphalt 9, which is newly launched game here. And let's see which one load faster here. Note 9 and probably one second slower is a Note 8. So next is Subway Surfer. And let's see which one load faster. As you can see guys the color wise there are really close displays on both. So let me just play a little bit so you can see the display here. As you can see guys really really close display on both. Not that big difference here. Next is Temple and 2. Also, we're going to see some color difference on this game as well. So, really close color as you can see here. And as I told you guys, they are high in resolution here, performance mode. So, best, uh, best display you can see here. Again, I think it's stuck over there. But anyway, as you can see guys, really, really close display here. Not that big difference. Real Racing 3 and they're both delaying right now I don't know it's getting loading 
all the application in the background but still Note 9 is faster and Mortal Kombat X and they both are same time so next I'm gonna open browser Chrome Samsung website and they both I think load at the same time next is internet Wikipedia website and I think notate load faster so next I'm gonna do some multitasking so I'm gonna open a random application I try to open same so you can see here which one loaded and which one still booting up so as you can see they're both in the background here model combat game uh, asphalt 9 let's just open that still in the background social media application Instagram still so as you can see guys I opened a few of them and still in the background so let's just run a Geekbench here and basically that's about the device as you can see here roughly simply I'm gonna run it one two three so yeah guys I'll catch you in a few seconds once they are done so guys that's the Geekbench score as you can see clearly won by Note 9 but as you can see guys one year gap that phone come out last year now this phone just came out in the market obviously the newer version will be faster and also if you want to see more detail about the device that's right here so guys that was a speed test comparison between note 9 compared to note 8 so that make any difference so guys uh, they both are equally compared sometime note 8 load faster sometime note 9 load faster is that worth upgrading I'll say no guys, so wait until next year if you're using S7 or S8 or S9 device. Next year will be best phone coming from Samsung, which is Samsung 10th anniversary. So obviously next year worth upgrading to the old to the new device. And right now, just uh, as you can see guys, design wise, they are fairly similar. Same here. This year, Samsung didn't bring that, that much in the market because s9 is only for the camera now now the note 9 is only for the s pen everything else yeah the specs is different here but still it's not worth it to upgrade but anyway guys let me know what you're thinking about this speed test conversion leave your thoughts in comment below i'll catch you next video peace out